hi guys welcome back we shall now be talking about advanced cardiac life support and i'll be explaining to you what is the difference between this and basic life support that's the usual query that i get from most doctors because we're doing a lot of things that are same we are still doing cpr we are still taking care of the airway of the patient breathing circulation so isn't everything same yeah it is but there's a difference the fundamental difference is that you are here making a differential diagnosis in a patient that is abcd the D stands for differential diagnosis that is being done by the doctor here to identify why did the patient became pulseless and BPless. It could be ventricular tachycardia, broad complex QRS, where the heart is beating very fast so it's not getting time to get filled with blood so input and output both are falling. It could be asystole for which the treatment is totally different from that of ventricular tachycardia or a patient could be having a tension pneumothorax which is compressing on the SVC, IVC of the patient, reducing the venous return so the heart is literally beating empty. You can understand an empty heart will not be able to generate any pulse. Pulseless electrical activity could be due to conditions ranging from dangerous hypovolemia where there is fluid loss from the body or fluid shifts in the body or it could be tension pneumothorax which is compressing the superior or the inferior vena cava, compromising the venous return of the patient. So, in advanced cardiac life support, you make a differential diagnosis and then treat the patient accordingly. In basic life support, your objective is just to maintain brain perfusion by giving chest compressions to the patient. But here, you are trying to do something beyond routine chest compressions also. That is to identify the cause and treat it. Aiding you in the very first step here is a defibrillator. When I say that the usual carry from most doctors is that were you not using an AED or automated external defibrillator even in basic life support, so what's the difference? The difference is that this is automated, automated external defibrillator. When you put it on the chest of the patient, it decides whether the shock is to be given or not given. So the AED will give out command. It will come out with a talking software in it. It will say the word shockable rhythm detected. So the decision making was done by the machine. Whereas in case of ACLS, the defibrillator will tell you a rhythm and the decision making will be done by the doctor. So I highlight this. In basic life support, you are giving CPR to the patient. Like the person collapsed at the airport, one of the persons went to get the AED machine. You are the one who is giving CPR. The moment the AED machine will come, you have to deploy the paddles on the chest. Now it will read the rhythm and say shockable rhythm detected or not detected. If not detected, you continue with CPR. On the other hand, if it says shockable rhythm detected, stay clear, then you, you have to wait for a few seconds and the machine will deliver a DC shock to the patient. Please appreciate automated external defibrillator decision making is that of the machine, whereas in case of ACLS, the decision making is done by the doctor. So that's one of the fundamental differences here. Like, for example, I can say asystole is a non-shockable rhythm. Ventricular tachycardia is a shockable rhythm. So the decision making was done by the physician. Another highlight that I can say, especially for the airway is, is secured, you know, in, you, you would go in for advanced airway here, like you will intubate the patient or you can use a laryngeal mask airway. In most of the cases in our hospitals, we intubate the patient. Now, once the advanced airway has been secured in the patient, then you will not follow the 30s to 2 rule that was taught to you initially. Now you will be giving one breath every six seconds. I repeat my statement that 30 east to 2 is not to be followed anymore like one guy is giving 30 chest compressions fine but if you are the one on the ambu bag you have to press the ambu bag once every six seconds so one breath every six seconds will translate into total of about 10 breaths in one minute 